I'm going to discuss the terminology that how we're made righteous today. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 21, reading the King James Version, it says, For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Now there's a lot of hymns in that. To understand it clearly, look at the scripture and let me read it this way. For God has made Jesus to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Jesus. To be made righteous means to be justified. Justified means to be made just as if we had never sinned in the first place. The work of Jesus takes our life and changes it and, and justifies us before God and all of the witnesses against him. Yes, we did those things, but we're now justified because all that went on Jesus and he's now made us to be right with God. We didn't think this up. It's not an act of our will or our purity, but it's an act of Jesus and God and how they loved us. Jesus had to take your sins and your sinful nature to the cross and eliminate them in order for God to be able to accept you and make you right with him. Thank God he's done that. No longer counting our trespasses against us. The Message Bible says, how, you say? In Christ, God put the wrong on him who never did anything wrong so we could be put right with God. That has a daily application. You know, a lot of people are condemned by their past failures and sins of yesterday. But when you realize what Jesus has done, then you can accept forgiveness and, and move on in your life and not browbeat yourself and not fall to depression over the things we do wrong. God has handled all of that in Christ Jesus for you. The work of Jesus takes our life and changes it and, and justifies us before God and all of the witnesses against him. Yes, we did those things, but we're now justified because all that went on Jesus and he has now made us to be right with God. We may not understand how God did this. The same terminology is used in another place. In Acts chapter 2, verse 36, it says, Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. That's the very same word that we've been discussing, how God made Jesus to be sin for us and how God made us to be righteousness of God in Christ. This is the same way that you are now made acceptable to God. You didn't do it, not because of your righteousness or good works. God did it. This was his idea from the beginning. All the ups and downs of your daily life have nothing to do with it at all. All you do now is walk in the light of it. You believe it. You trust it. You call on God. Say, Lord, I don't know how you can do it, but I believe you love me today. And he does.